Hey, what's going on everybody? Witherfox here, and obviously you're here to see how to install mods for Nuclear Throne. Pretty excited because I've been kind of learning a little bit the, about this myself here, but let's get right to it. First thing you're going to want to do is a fresh copy of Nuclear Throne. This is important. You don't want anything else going on in the background. If you're watching this, you probably have a fresh copy, but simply just uninstalling and reinstalling the game does not take too long. You'll see here it'll just jump right up, and that is very important. Uh, next thing that you're going to go ahead and do, I like to just browse local files and just go straight into the folder for this. You'll see that we have quite a bit. Um, so the second step here, we need to go ahead and install uh, Nuclear Throne Together. Uh, this is a really awesome mod uh, that somebody had created. I'll put the link down in the description. All of the links that we use here will be down in the description today. Um, but this basically allows for online multiplayer. So uh, it's a really, really cool mod. This is the website for it. If you, if you want quick access to it too, inside your folder, it will come with this little scripting thing here. And you can just click on this link. That's my cat. Um, so yeah, it'll go ahead and bring you up to this here. So back to this link, you'll just go ahead and click download. Um, we're just going to go ahead and hit no thanks, I don't have any money to donate right now, and we're going to download the most recent version. They also have a Discord as well too, so, uh, you know, finding out what the NTT Discord is is great. Uh, you can get beta builds for this, uh, and whatnot, but you're just going to go ahead and open up this zip file here, bring it over, and you're going to go back to your main folder, and you're just going to simply drag and drop. And you're going to replace all the files. And NTT is almost installed. We have one more step to do. The next step here, we're going to look for, in this NTT section here, we're going to look for NTT Assemble. It'll bring up this little text document. And uh, what we're going to go ahead and do is just hit number one on our keypad to install Nuclear Throne together. It'll go about doing that. Good. It installed. The next one is Toggle Steam and the window is just going to disappear so uh once that window disappears you'll know that it toggled steam for you here uh the other important thing to note here is uh this right here you have nuclear throne and nuclear throne together make sure that you launch the app for nuclear throne together not the regular one um or it will launch vanilla what i like to personally do here is uh right click create a shortcut and drag and drop that to my desktop. Get rid of the little shortcut bit. And you have an easy launch here. Um, I will also be showing you guys something else uh, that makes it pretty easy. But if you've installed it correctly, you will notice right up here at the top, you have nuclear thrown together. Uh, now, if you are to this step already, awesome. Uh, we can go ahead and move on. So let's go ahead and get rid of that little shortcut there. So uh, we went ahead, you want to make sure that after you get NTT, you run the game at least once. Uh, there might be some files it needs to build when it does that. Uh, but now we can just go straight on into downloading mods. So the first mod that I want to download here, now you don't have to download these mods. You can download any mods. Uh, I can send a link down in the description as well too where you can get mods at uh, for, for NTT. But this is the recommended way to go about doing it. So this is gel. This is a mod loader here. Uh, in my opinion, it's a pretty okay mod loader, but sometimes it's it's got its issues for sure. All right, so once you get the mod downloaded here, uh, what you're gonna go ahead and do is open up your mods folder. You're going to drag and drop this to your mods folder there. And what I like to do is I like to rename this right off the bat. Uh, I rename it because every mod requires you to run a command in order to load the mod in the game. So NTT comes with its own, uh, basically, debug menu, I guess, text menu, text whatever. Uh, so that's that's really important to know that you have to run a command every time you, you load a mod. But I will also be showing you guys a way to get around that so these load every time. But what you want is, first off, you're going to get it so that it looks like mod.gml. You won't have that too. I just have that too there because I've downloaded it multiple times. Um, but if you if you do have a number there, make sure you get rid of it. And it just says mod.gml at the end of it. 
And then what I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm going to get rid of this 2.4 and just keep the gel. So this will become relevant here right now, actually, uh, because the next step that we're going to go ahead and do is right click, go to new, go to text document, and we're going to name this startup. And this is going to be our startup script for mod loading as well as a few other things. So we'll go ahead and open that and I will have basically everything that I put in my startup script in the link in, this, in the description here. Um, but the first thing that I like to add is this little command here. And what this does is as soon as you hit the character selection menu, which is where you can start to type in commands, this will immediately turn your game from 4x3 aspect ratio to 16x9. And that will essentially give you 1080p. You won't have a box of a game with the bars. You'll literally have a full screen game, which is awesome. Uh, if you'll notice, if, you, if you've ever done a Google search for getting 60 FPS in this game, this is half of the command for that. Uh, that command normally comes with the 16x9 command, but... I strongly recommend against uh, doing anything that increases your FPS in this game. I know it sounds weird, but the command that's out that somebody has put out there actually changes the game's speed, and that can screw up the your game when you're modding really bad. So, uh, you know, just keep with this command. Stay at 30 FPS. I know it sucks, but, you know, do the best you can. Don't change the game speed because it will actually slow down your game later on. So it does the opposite. So don't do that. Anyway, so the next command that we're going to go ahead and do, if you remember, I told you that we have to run a command every time to load a mod. Now, the cool thing about this startup thing is this, this is, uh, as soon as we hit the character selection menu, this is going to go ahead and run every single command that we put in here. And you can use all of the commands that are in the game. So you can get pretty creative with it. Uh, so the first thing we need to do is load the gel mod. So what we're going to go ahead and do is type in slash load mod. Now this is the command to loading the mod. And this is a GML file. So we have to do um, just the name of this without the dot mod, without the GML. You can put that in there, but it's not necessary. I'm just going to type in slash load mod gel. I'm going to go to file and save. So now this is in the startup base folder right here. Uh, you'll notice it's right there. And then as soon as we hit character selection, it's going to run these two commands here. And I can show that happening right now. We'll just go ahead and load this up. And as soon as we go into the character selection menu, you'll notice a whole bunch of things changed. We got 16 by 9. Uh, if we press T to open up the text menu, you'll see that there's an allow mod. Um, Loading mods, all that stuff. So done setting up. Perfect. And then if you want gel to pop up, keeping in mind you don't have to have this mod, but if you want gel to pop up, just type in slash uh, allow mod space and then the name of the mod itself. Um, this is why it's important to rename it because if it was gel 2.4.mod.whatever, it could potentially confuse your system. So I changed it to just gel. And now we have the gel menu, which is great. And gel comes with this right here. It doesn't do anything. It says couldn't find the file. I don't know why that's included, but we will go ahead and just quit the game and get right on to the next thing. All right, so the next mod we're going to go ahead and do is actually this mod right here. Now, keeping in mind, this could be any mod that you want to. I just prefer to install the mods that are lighter first and heavier last, uh, just because it there, there's a lot of reasons for it, mainly because this game was made in an engine called Game Maker Studio, which is this right here. And this particular uh, game making software really kind of sucks. It's not... Um, doesn't allow for a lot of intensive graphics. It doesn't allow for a lot of intensive memory usage or anything like that. It's not Unreal Engine. It's not, uh, you know, Unity or anything else like that. It's it's a very light game making program, and they used you know this program to make an amazing game. But unfortunately, there's a lot of stuff that restricts it from happening. Um, so 
be very thoughtful of that when you're installing mods. You're, if you install too many, your game will slow down. So anyway, uh, what we're going to go ahead and do, we're going to get this, uh, download this mod right here. Just make sure that you follow that. Uh, there usually is install instructions, and these weren't too helpful for me. I'm going to show you guys a much better way for installing mods. Now, in this particular case, if we open this, we'll see that these are all the files for the mods themselves. It adds crowns, it adds custom options, it adds mutations. So since this is all kind of a mess, what I like to do is do a new folder. We're going to type in mutations because that's what the mod is about. And keeping in mind this is a new mod we're installing, so we're going to give it its own folder. And we're just going to drag and drop that right there. And so now we have this mod installed. But, like I said before, we also have to go ahead and enable this in the text editor. So, we did slash load mod gel because this is a GML file. It's just the file. But we want to load a mod that is this entire folder. So what we're going to go ahead and do is slash load text. And this is going to load the text of whatever the folder is. So space mutations. Perfect. And then again, file save. And we have the mutations mod installed. So when we go ahead and go back into the game, hit start, it should load. I strongly recommend doing this in between uh installing mods just so you can kind of see if you ins uh, installed a mod incorrectly that's really important so you'll notice our game will freeze for a second let it run it's running that text file you'll notice right here it loaded a lot of mods a lot of stuff let it do its thing we got this little uh, gear icon added because this came with the mod and 700,000 mutations here's all of the information for that so perfect We'll go ahead and quit that. And the next mod, this is just one of my personal favorites. Uh, keeping in mind that if you are to play multiplayer at all with your friends, make sure they have, I, I guess, kind of similar mods. I've never had sort of an issue. I think whoever the host is needs to have the mods installed. Um, but anyway, moving on. So what we're going to go ahead and do, this is the hard mode mod. I love this mod. It adds a ton of content to the game. We're just going to go straight to the download. Open this up. And these guys are awesome. They already put it in an extra folder for us. So you'll see this is all the content here that they add. They went ahead and put it in a folder for us. So we can just drag and drop. Perfect. Add it to our text document. Load text. Hard mode and file and save and perfect so now we'll go back we'll launch nuclear throne together we're going to make sure that it's installed correctly this is going to take even longer let it run hard mode is a very large mod so if you ever install this mod i recommend not having very much else uh just because it's going to really uh Kind of hurt you in the long run here. Uh, but you'll notice once we uh, jump in the game, we have a whole bunch of text that shows up. And these guys are incredibly much harder. Uh, very aggro. The game works. And everything's good to go. So we'll just go ahead and go to the menu and quit. And I got one more thing I want to show you guys here. Uh, so now that you guys know how to install mods, you can go ahead and download just about any mod that there is out there. Um, do, 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 yeah, so, uh, we can go ahead and close this out. Um, like I said, I'll put the link down in the description of where you guys can download more mods for NTT. Uh, go ahead and have a lot of fun with it. There's so many of them. They're being updated every day. Uh, but what I want to go ahead and do here is show you guys that if you go into steam and launch nuclear throne, and click play. Okay, that is not what I wanted to show you. Uh, if, if you were to go into Nuclear Throne and click play, it's going to just launch the vanilla game. So I didn't prepare for this beforehand, 
but uh, what you can go ahead and do is right click and go into properties and uh, you'll see that I have this command right here in the launch options. Basically what this command does is it says this is the file path to my nuclear thrown together.exe and I'm running it as a command. So I can put this down in the link in the description. Just keep in mind this is very important. Your file path will not be the same as mine. It will probably say C and then program files 86 and then Steam and then Steam apps. So make sure that you what you're going to go ahead and do basically is open up this. You're going to find nuclear thrown together. And what I like to do is copy this, do a backslash, put it at the end. You'll see .exe right here. And this is your file path. And the game just launched. Go away. Perfect. Anyway, the game just launched, and I closed that on accident. Uh, but yeah, you'll basically just go into here, do slash nuclear thrown together.exe, copy, and it just launched the game again. And you'll paste that right here in between this. So I'll go ahead and delete that. Right between these quotes, you'll paste your. Uh, your file right there and every single time that you click play instead of launching vanilla it will launch modded so and you're all good to go so anyway I'm sorry for the longer tutorial guys uh, there is quite a bit so if you do have any questions reach out in the comments below I will try to answer all of the questions that I can I really hope you guys find this tutorial useful I really hope that you guys you know can get onto modding and and get into this game a little bit more here. Uh, it's a lot of fun, there's so much stuff to do, and I'm super excited for what the community brings to us. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you guys in the next video.